Hey y'all, look, I just finished season four of 13 Reasons Why, and this ish got me stress eating. Okay, it's been about three hours since I finished it, and I have just gotten on my couch, had to go in the shower and eat, because, oh child, I'm stressed, and I'm hurt, and I'm sad, and I'm sad sad and i've been eating good for the past like two weeks healthy because i'm skinty now and now this show got me eating some noodles with whatever at night okay so i'm here to give y'all a review my opinion and I'm going to just start off by saying, um, I give it, I'm going to give it an 8, okay? An 8 out of 10. <gasps> that noodle was in my mouth, stuck in my throat. Oh my God. Anyways, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it hurt me. It really did. And it only had 10 episodes, but they were all hour long. Except the last episode was an hour and like 40 minutes. Love to see that. So, I am going to be spoiling it. So, Keep it stepping. Um, yeah. Sorry, these noodles are so good. Oh my god, and my hair. She's cute. I'm gonna address the big thing, okay? If y'all already seen it, y'all already know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it and you don't want spoilers, click. Thank you for watching, but click. Justin, Sir Justin Foley. <laughs> you ever watch a show and you just love this one character? No matter what the character does, you just love him. Like that was literally Justin for me from the jump, because you could just tell his soul just needed guiding, and he was getting it. And he had the most character growth from this little jackass jock to this family man. God, he'll kill for Jessica and Clay. But he was struggling with them. So he just, the first episode, he gets back from rehab. And everything's all fine and dandy. And midway through, he finds out that his mom, well, his mom's been contacting him. And then his mom actually ODs. And that was it. Put him back in the spiral. He started using again, started messing up with Jessica. Jessica knew she was not dumb. And, um, so he started to get clean again. And that ha it really happens, like, when your body is off of it, and then you start using again, and then you get off of it, you can die from withdrawals, okay? It's real. So that's what I thought was happening. I mean, really, that was kind of what's happening, too. He had, whatever. Oh, my God, I'm so distraught. A TV show made me like this. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying right now. All right, so the big beautiful moment at the end of the dance and Justin comes and him and Jessica are dancing. And he looks so good in that white tux and he, he's getting clean again. He's trying, but he's going through with jaws. And he fucking, oh, excuse me, he freaking faints. That's it. And Clay was like, I feel like it's the end of the world. Baby, me too. Because we found out he has HIV, which progressed into AIDS. He dies. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put this up there in my top five character deaths that hurt me. I feel like 
<clears throat> he is up there with George O'Malley from Grey's Anatomy because oh my god this shit hurt god it hurt really his death was so unnecessary and it hurt and this is why I gave this show an 8 because first we had Jeff in the first season and that hurt Hannah Bryce and Monty they're still popping up in this um season they can go okay and now Justin <clears throat> so I went on Twitter and I like to read what like people thought of the show and all that and some people were saying that it was like too much I don't think it was too much honestly I think it was the most realistic show or season of this show because it dealt with real things that our kids are like going with and they dealt with it like the school shootings uh drug use relationships and i feel like they ended it perfectly because well now that the whole show is done if you step back and look at the bigger picture it's really like the butterfly effect it's a real it's a ripple effect what you do to someone affects that person and affects how they react so next and it's just a big snowballing and that's exactly what the show projected and i loved it and i loved it i loved it and a lot of people are hating the show saying oh why did, why they're doing four seasons hannah's been dead season one was hannah's story and then we got to know each character and at times a little cheesy like in this season um i feel like it was giving me like mtv scream like that tv show vibes and i was like mm, like almost like a corny horror film like when clay was looking in the mirror he's like smiling back at himself i was like yeah i need to reel it back in because this was not the genre it was before but it was so good the relationships with each character like was strained this season at the beginning but of course you know it gets stronger um they come back together at the end of course for justin and one character in particular really was like beside himself this season which was um Zach which he used to be my favorite too and he was really going through it again you know at the end of the show I was like man they really got away with it all no they didn't they were forever ever going to carry this with them this whole season was on how it affected Clay look at him a mess a hot mess mental breaks uh he dissociating like really he was holding all this for all of his friends and he broke he just broke and it's real like for real he had mental breakdowns because of all these secrets that he was keeping and that's why i say secrets will eat you alive but it was really good um i loved loved how they realistically focused on clay's mental health because it will make you do crazy things and or out of the ordinary things not like you and you try to hold it together and you can and god it was just so good and alex okay alex number one the first mistake was casting him as a straight man baby we knew we've been new he is i believe in real life gay um and that just shines through let it shine they should have done it from the jump <sighs> and he's going through sexuality and he kisses zach and oh my god that was so cute because zach's reaction was like don't worry about it like don't worry about it sweetheart um yeah that it was just so cute and he gets with um my newest obsession which is winston who was the guy he winston is here because he's trying to figure out what happened to bryce because they know he knows that they framed monty and he's trying to figure out who killed bryce because he only slept with monty like once i think a few times whatever they don't get into specifics and he's like in love with monty so we're like, okay sis but um he's so freaking cute and genuine and he really was hurting and i feel like that's why he was coming after trying to come after the kids but um 
so him and Alex kind of he kind of gives him his awakening and then that doesn't work because we all find out that he's here to figure out Monty's little death whatever by Monty I really don't feel bad for him I do like how they kept bringing Monty and um Bryce back like their ghosts or whatever which I know it it wasn't their ghost it was more like the kids seeing them in their conscious because they have it on their conscious <sighs> but that part of the dance where Monty and um Winston were dancing I think I cried each episode but the last two episodes really just it really just hurt me y'all it really did um and I know this is all over the place right now because my thoughts are you ever watch a show and then it's over and you really just find yourself like sad like you just lost a friend or something and I don't know why this one hit me so hard I didn't realize I loved this show this much so guess what I did I'm restarting it and my TV is right behind this camera and I'm about to press um pause when I'm done <laughs> but um so Alex gets with Charlie which is the most precious little angel baby I've ever seen in my life and I love him so much and Charles St. George blah 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 he has such a full name and he just keep making his campfire cookies and I'm like <sighs> and he's really fighting for Alex like Alex is like no I'm not gonna let you love me blah blah and he's like you don't have a saying who I like like and they end up being kings at prom and oh my god they are just literally so cute and i think that was one of my favorite scenes because alex was like i don't think i'm ever gonna be happy and then he's dancing with um charlie and he's like i'm happy he realized like there's moments that he's always going to be sad and because they oh, freaking murdered someone and he just realizes that like charlie makes him happy and <sighs> i'm ha i really like I really like how they ended these stories. My favorite, not my favorite part, but I loved how they ended it with Clay. And oh my God, why am I getting emotional? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going through it. It's a TV show and I'm going through it. But I liked how they ended it with um, Tony and Clay driving off in the red car. I'm like, yes. You know, Tony and Clay have been together from the start. And it was kind of overshadowed by like the whole Justin and Clay's friendship or brothership, which oh, is the best thing in my life. Um, but Tony and Clay were the real ones from the jump. And I love how they just ended off together. Not together, but you know, these kids will forever be bonded through all this. And God, it's such a good show. And y'all need to watch it. Ani, I'm so glad they did not make her the focus of this season. She was in and out of the season. And I think I think the creators of this show knew they kind of did a little oopsie with bringing her. But whatever. Um, I feel like, oh, Tyler. I, I hate that they treat Tyler like a baby. Like, let him live. Y'all don't have to monitor him. He told y'all he was down for y'all. And they kept monitoring him. But he got started getting close with monty's sister which i don't know why that girl was in the show pointless i feel like i thought they were hyping it up and i thought she was gonna be the one trying to take down the kids but like she wasn't and she just got with tyler which is weird because i'm sorry me personally after what monty did to tyler i don't want anyone near me who has related to tyler friends with him or i mean monty or anything like that but um side note at the end courtney and ryan come back girl why they came back anybody anyway, missed them what happened to sheree and um i all the other ones that the the guy the president from like the first season whatever i just felt like this season was closure and god damn my heart hurts for justin it really does if you're watching this far thank you because i'm really my thoughts are just everywhere i should have wrote things down how i wanted to go or talk about but this this is i was crying okay i'll post a link to my tiktok below of my reaction because girl i was literally crying for an hour and a half straight everything made me cry in that last episode clay speech jessica speech let me tell you about jessica she's one strong b okay that's one strong woman love her she's strong gosh you've gone through so much and i just really 
I am Team Jessica for real. Um, who am I forgetting? Tony, Alex, Justin Clay. Clay is gonna be working on himself for a long time. Love to see it though. Um, Justin, God. Who? Yeah, if I'm forgetting someone, let me know. And if y'all want to discuss this below, please leave a comment because none of my friends have finished it. They haven't even started it. And I'm alone on this. So I just wanted to get my thoughts out. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Bye. Rest in peace, Justin.